Changing pace now and tackling big funerals head on, Bear has established itself as one of Australia's top funeral care businesses based on market share in just two years. For more on this, let's bring in Cale Donovan, the founder of Bear. Welcome to Ticker News. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me, Natasha. Now, Cale, why does conversation around death need to be normalised? Yeah, I mean, I think Australians are a really interesting bunch. Like, we're, we're entertained by death every day. So in film, in music, in TV, and yet when it comes to our own, we actually don't talk about it. Um, the reason that this is really important, I guess, is that the vast majority of Australians, when someone does pass away, they want to honour the person they've loved and they want to know their wishes. The problem is we don't talk about it enough, right? And so um, by normalising the conversation around death, making these conversations part of everyday life and making them earlier and often, I would say, um, people are inherently better prepared and thoughtful. And it just alleviates so much stress on the people they leave behind when someone does actually pass away. Mm. And Kale, why did you decide to focus on the funeral industry and how is your business innovative? Yeah, I mean, we decided to focus on it because, frankly, it needs it. The, the background story is that we actually started there after seeing friends and family really struggle with funeral arrangements, and we saw the impact it actually had on them. And so when we realised that this experience was common and it was widespread across Australian families, um, it was a problem we just had to solve. And fundamentally, the funeral industry hasn't really changed for many decades, and the services that are offered don't really align with what the modern consumer wants, which is affordability, it's choice, it's high quality services that are provided conveniently. And so we started Bear to, to offer all of those things. Mm. Now, you obviously deal with people during a very vulnerable time in their lives. How do you build trust with your customers and why is it important in your industry? I mean, it's vitally important, right? It is, as you described, it's, it's the most vulnerable time uh, arranging a funeral that a person will probably ever go through. Um, in terms of building trust, there's a, there's a couple of different layers. The first is, um, yeah, Bear is a direct to consumer business. And so we allow people to um, arrange or prepay a funeral online or over the phone. And a lot of that is done digitally. And so to build trust online, um, social proof is a really big one, and that comes from the customer feedback and the customer review. And so early on, we you know, we focused on that a lot. Um, how do you get those customer reviews, right? How do you build that inherent trust is actually the, the, the kernel. It's what you need. And so um, I think a lot of people probably think that trust is built by a virus service with a grandiose sort of product. Um, but ultimately, it's done incrementally by doing what you say you do. And so for us, like we harness really closely on focusing on the quality of the service and doing exactly that, like explaining in methodical detail what happens, you know, to when someone does pass away and what is the process? What are your options? And so people make really good decisions. Um, and then having the empathy and, and agility um, once we've had that conversation to give people what they need. And so um, rather than trying to do something really large we just incrementally did everything that a customer wanted ongoing and that inherently builds that trust between us as a the funeral business and the person who's actually having to experience the arrangement mm. 